I'm still rediscovering radio and I've finished making the Unantenna Plus from the QRP guys in the USA. In this video I'm going to look briefly at the construction process and how I tested it as well as reviewing my ongoing projects. The Unantenna Plus was fun to make and I'm really pleased with the final product. The Unantenna Plus is a combination of antenna tuner and SWR indicator. There are two variable capacitors which you adjust until the LED gets to its dimmest point and then you know that your SWR is at its sweet spot. I've been making electronics projects for many years and I've always shied away from winding coils. I'm under the impression that I'm not alone in this. This project helped me overcome that anxiety. The online instructions are clear and easy to follow and I soon had the three transformers wound. The variable capacitors were puzzling when I compared them with the instructions. There are two versions shown, but neither set of pictures seemed to match mine. There was only one way the wires could go, so I just bent them down and soldered them on. If you're making one of these, one tip is to watch out for the large 51 ohm resistors. If the leads need bending, do this on the outside of the board. They need to be as tight as possible on the inside to give room for the coil next door. They may also get in the way of the counterpoise wing nut, so that can be raised up with an extra washer. So having looked at the construction, let's see how it worked in testing. To try out the Unantenna Plus, I used the QRP Pixie kit that I've recently built. I know the transmitter oscillator works and I can hear it on my HF receiver. So I connected it to the Unantenna Plus while using a piece of wire as an antenna it was satisfying to see that as I pressed the key and adjusted the two controls on this neat little ATU, I was able to make the light dim and go out completely. I'm really pleased with the Unantenna Plus and I'm looking forward to using it when I get a bit further down the line with all my projects. If I can make some small enough gear, I may even take it out on my bike. I've received my QRP mini kit from QCX Labs and I'll be making a video about the building of that soon. I'm still experimenting with the QRP Pixie and I've realized that this circuit has a long history and development. I've had mixed results with it so far and I'm experimenting with some modifications. So I'm still rediscovering radio. I'll be back with more videos as I move along with these projects and I hope you'll be able to join me. It'd be great too if you can like and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll be getting back to winding some more coils.